Hey guys, today we're going to continue looking at function notation with multiple representations. Last time we just looked at equations. We're going to look at graphs and tables and more this time. So remember function notation f of x is the output or the y value. It's interchangeable. So if you see f of x, think y. And then x is the input, obviously the input value. Remember what is inside the parentheses is the input, so that's the x value. So to find a missing value in function notation, you first need to decide whether you are given an x or a y value, which can be used by thinking about that up there. Then we're going to use the representation that they gave us to find the matching x or y value that can be used to complete the ordered pair x, y. So let's look at this first one. It says find the value f of 5. So they gave us a number inside the parentheses. They gave us the input or the x value. So that right there is just telling us that x is 5. And they're wanting us to find f of 5, which is an output or a y value. This is uh, telling us find y when x equals 5. So I'm going to go over to x equals 5 on my graph, which is right there. And that ordered pair on the graph is 5, and then the matching output value is also 5. So f of 5 equals 5 here. Okay, now on the next one it says find the value of x if f of x equals negative 2. So this one's a little bit easier. They are telling us find x, so that means they must have given us y. So now I'm going to go to where y is negative 2 on my graph, and that matching x value is 3. Okay, let's look at number 2. It says find the value of g of negative 2. They gave us the input inside the parentheses. They are telling us find the output when x is negative 2. So if I go to where x is negative 2 on my graph, the matching g of x value is negative 3. And then this one says find x if g of x is 0. So that is telling me I need to look in the x column when g of x is 0 which is right here, and the x value when g of x is 0 is 1. All right, let's look at number 2. It says find the value of h of 0. So that gave me an input inside the parentheses where x is 0. So I'm just going to go to where x is 0 on my graph, which is right here, and that is the origin, so the y value is also 0 there. And then this one says find the value of x if h of x equals 4. And it shows you right here this is h of x. So I'm going to go to where h of x is 4 right here. And I actually have two x values at that part on the graph. Negative 2 and positive 2. Okay, number four, it says find the value of f of six. So they gave us an input inside the parentheses when x equals six, which is right here, and that matching output value is four. And then they want us to find the value of x. So we're going to be looking here if f of x equals two. So when f of x equals two, that matching x value is five. Okay, number five says Will throws a football up in the air at recess. The height of the football over time can be written as a function h of t, where h of t is the height in feet and t is the time elapsed in seconds. The function h of t is graphed below. So that was a lot of words just to tell us h of t, the y-axis represents the height in feet, and t is the x-axis represents the time in seconds. So this says, what does h of 0 represent? So they gave us where x equals 0. So let's look at that. When x is 0, that means that our time is 0 and the height is 5. 
So when time is zero, that is our starting point. So that means he threw the ball starting at five feet. And then it says, what does H of 1.3 represent? So when x equals 1.3, since they gave us the number inside the parentheses, let's see what happens. So 1.3 would be right here in between 1.2 and 1.4. And if we look at that point, our height is zero. So that means that is where the ball hit the ground. The, ground, the ball hit the ground after 1.3 seconds. And then the last question says, what is the value of h of 0 0.5? So h of 0 0.5, that's where x is 0 0.5. Let's see what's happening there. That would be about right here. And it looks like the, that is the maximum height of 9 feet. Okay, let's look at the last question, number six. Tasty Sweets determines their weekly profits from delivering cookies and selling cookies at their storefront by using the function below. T of X equals 5X squared minus 10X. If X represents a dozen cookies sold and T of X represents the total profits, then find the total profits if Tasty Sweets sold dozen cookies. So they gave us this information, 12 dozen cookies. We need to determine if that was the output or the input they gave us. They told us X represents a dozen cookies, so that is an X that they gave us. So they're wanting us to find t of 12 by replacing x in this function with 12 since they sold 12 dozen cookies. And I'm just going to put that into the calculator. 5 times 12 squared minus 10 times 12. So after they sold 12 dozen cookies, they made a profit of $600.